Hi there, my name is Craig and I'm the architect guy. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to create a colored floor plan using Bluebeam. So the first thing I've done is just open up my PDF that I've created from Revit, uh, just a simple floor plan here. Uh, I'm gonna go over to the right hand side of my screen. Um, I've got my toolbar here. So I'll select the rectangle tool. Uh, you might have it in a different location. It might be at the top or you might even have it docked to the side, but obviously in the video here, I will have it over on the right. So once I select that and that's highlighted, I'm going to find my properties and open that up. And then this just kind of tells me the properties of the rectangle I'm about to create. I'll worry about that in just a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is just zoom into that lower right hand office and I'm just going to draw a rectangle of the office, which is what I want to color right now. So as you can see, I've just got the red outline here. Um, so that's what the color here is. So I'll leave that for right now. Fill color, I'm gonna change that to red. So as you can see, it fills up everything and it covers the floor plan. If I want the floor plan to shine through, I can hit highlight and then it'll show through everything. So I hit highlight and then let's say I wanna get rid of that outline. It's a lot to tell, so I'm gonna move that up here. Actually, I'm gonna change that to blue first. So that's my color outline. Um, I can change the thickness of that. Uh, I don't really want it right for this video, so I'm gonna make it zero. And then I'm gonna change the fill opacity to 30 and then hit enter. Um, so that kind of tones it down a little bit. Um, and now notice if I uncheck highlight, it's a little hard to tell with that. So I'm gonna bump that up. Um, my box still fills over the floor plan, but you can see through it because of the fill opacity, but then if I choose highlight, all the black comes through and it kind of goes behind that layer a little bit. Um, so it's really up to you how you want to do that. Um, I recommend using highlight just because then you can see the text a little bit better. Um, if I want to, I can copy and paste that and then drag that over there. So I could do that for all the offices that I want to create. Um, so you can easily do that using the rectangle tool. Um, you can also use the polygon tool if you've kind of got some weird shapes like this. So let's say I kind of want to color the collaboration space. So I'm going to go over to the polygon and click that. And again, I'll just worry about my properties after I draw it. So I'm going to click, if you hold shift, it locks it to 45 degree increments. So I'm going to keep clicking around, uncheck or unclick up there. Just kind of drag my cursor around the parts that I don't want colored. And then, okay, so if I want to close it, I can just double click here and it'll close that shape for me. Um, I'll do the red fill again. I'll choose highlight and then I'll turn that down to 30. Uh, so that's really the simplest way to go ahead and color your floor plan. Um, let's say you draw a shape and you want to change the color later. Not a problem, just click that, go into your fill, you can choose green or blue or whatever it happens to be. Um, and then obviously just go through and do that for all the rooms that you want colored in your floor plan and you are good to go. All right, so that was a quick tutorial on how to create a colored floor plan using Bluebeam. I am Craig, the architect guy, and I will catch you next time.